What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Got the Week 5 game. When we going up against the Redskins, we finished that whole division out after this game. We feel when we face the Giants, Cowboys, Eagles, and the Redskins already. So I see how they scheduled the Falcons schedule. You feel me? But in this game, man, I don't know if the Redskins did this on purpose. I don't know. I don't even know if Matt Ryan did that on purpose, but the Redskins, they wanted to get Daniel Taylor mad. I have no idea why. You feel me? I'm be facing another QB with, that don't got his own video to show. <laughs> LOL. But we're going to go back to this. Quincy Bond still on defense. The, the run stopper really kicked in this game, and uh, it's, it's, work, it's been working real good. I kind of anticipate where the passes is going. I thought if he would have threw this correctly and it wasn't the overthrow, that would have been Quincy Blunt's interception. But nah, Kirk Cousins overthrows the ball. Somebody else gets an interception, but it's all good. Still get an interception for the team, for the squad. Daniel Taylor, first down runs. I think this is the, the power O out of strong. I know I ran that a lot this game because it's actually been working. So you actually get the read. I actually got used to the blocks like mid-game and Daniel Taylor. He's too fast. Nobody on that team is going to catch him. But um, after this touchdown, dude all uh, pulling on the – oh, he's pulling on the back. And Daniel Taylor, like, what, what is there to talk about? You feel me? Like, Daniel Taylor turned around, about to swing, about to pop on the right quick. But, you know, the cameras had to cut that off. They don't want to show that on CBS or on ESPN, nothing like that. So we ain't get to see what happened after that. You feel me? But we can all infer. That if he touched him again, Dan Taylor's about to pop on him. Quincy Bunt would have ran off the sideline, gave him an elbow drop, hold holding leg drop, tombstone from the Undertaker, or something like that. He would they would have jumped him real bad. Would have been over. You feel me? Bubby back on defense. Getting sacks. We guarding screens. They not throwing them that much this year. Um if you over there with it, they not really gonna throw it, so I can't really get an interception. But now Daniel Taylor. He gonna start playing, man. And I actually figured out how to play running back better this game because, like the first couple of games, I, I kind of say, yeah, don't hold, the, don't hold sprint, you know, don't hold RT. We get this nasty stiff arm right here, it's just disrespectful. We throwing just punches. That wasn't even a stiff. That was a punch. We threw him off of us. But in like the first couple of games, I told myself like, yeah, wide open touchdown pass. Hold my <laughs> child's to Marshawn Lynch. But as I was saying, in the first couple of games, I uh, told myself, yeah, don't hold the sprint button, don't do this. But I really didn't listen. You know, I was still doing it, I was still holding it. But in this game, I really like focused on not doing not holding the button until I, I got through the line, saw a hold. And it actually is working. Like you definitely do get to cut better. You get to there's some runs that you can actually take all the way to the other side now and it's real great. And you see we break the tackle right here, and I think we broke it because we wasn't holding RT. Because I also, also think that's something that happens as well, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if we don't hold RT, there might be a whole lot of benefits. And right here, I'm not trying to hold it, try to slow down, but I have no idea what just happened. We split a little stiff arm. They can't even tackle us. We slip off of them like butter. We don't even celebrate no more. That's how angry we are right now. We trying to just just embarrass the Redskins at this home field. The fans is going to love it. DT3 is just going to be fading this whole defense. Somebody got faded. I think that was D'Angelo Hall. They got faded right there. They got put on their back from the screen, man. We, are, we already know. We already know, man. Back on defense. They still got zero points, so we know the defense always doing the thing. Quincy Blitz 3.0, what you doing? What you doing, Kirk? What are you doing, Kirk? Cause we gonna do it again later on in the draw. What are you doing, Kirk? Quincy not even taking the time to go down with him. He's just throwing him. Just throwing him down because he know how Daniel Taylor feel. And now they coming up with this run play game tackle. Oh my God. And I thought Quincy Blunt was gonna be able to bring him down by himself, but they went up and threw him up two more yards. And here we go again, Quincy Blitz. We faked the blitz. I swear that could that was supposed to be our interception, but it don't matter. We stop him before he gets in the end zone. Quincy coming up quick, strong, fast, gets that tackle in the backfield, stopping him again, second and goal. What are we gonna do? 
same play for us. They handed off to Kirk Cousins, and that read option does not work with him. Only a yard gain. Third and goal. Here we go. We're going to do the same play because it's working. Quincy Punt goes the wrong way. Vic Beasley is on the other side. We don't have to worry about that that often. You feel me? We stop goal line stand, bro. Three and out. Well, three plays. Fourth, fourth and goal. They're going to kick this field goal, man. We stopped them on the goal line. No touchdown. Hold them to a field goal. Looked like four people was back there hitting out for Morris. But it's all good. They only got three points right now. We're going to come up. Daniel Taylor. That time I just hold, I held our team through the whole thing. And I also figured out, like, I've started to figure out the trucking more than what I said last time in the other video because now it is like a wind up, so you really have to. You can't do it like the same thing. And I'm knowing when to do certain moves. I know when to juke. I know when to stiff arm. It's just working out for me right now. That juke was real nasty. We almost got the touchdown. But on this run right here, it's not even a run. We're going to do the slip screen. Offensive linemen are really fading these blockers, though. But um, we get another touchdown. Matt Ryan is definitely loving his three touchdown passes. We out here right now. We going to go sprint to the side. Get ran over. See, I was thinking, should I, should I truck or should I juke this time? But the angle that we was on and who was else was to the inside, I said I might as well truck. You got to make those decisions. It all comes in with just playing the game. You feel me? If you play this running back in the career mode, you, your running game going to get better offline and ultimate team. Just like if you play safety in the career mode, you're going to be user in the safety or the linebacker or something like that. It's going to get better because you're going to be user in them the whole game. So it's all going to be good. You're going to get your practice in. Another touchdown. We're trying to break the rushing yard record again this year in this game right now. 35-3. to Get the ball back on offense after that touchdown, after the defense just held, holds the Redskins up for nothing. They just hold them up. But... Third and two under a minute left. We need a couple more yards to get this to get this first down and a couple more yards to get this rushing record. You can see right there, we just like about 10, 4 to 15, probably 16 yards short. I'm not really trying to do the math right now, but we still just breaking tackles. Everybody, everybody can't tackle us. Nobody on this team can tackle Dan Taylor one on one. But it's only two seconds left. We coming up, we doing the motion. Nobody wants to tackle him. <laughs> Nobody wants to tackle him. At this point, they said forget it. Just let him score. Let him get the record. We end up beating the Redskins 42 to 3. Don't anger Daniel Taylor the third. He will. He will bow out on you. He probably break the touchdown record next time if somebody wanted to try to fight him. Some try somebody try to disrespect him. He might break the touchdown record instead of the yards record. You feel me? But it's all good. Like I said before. We are not losing. We got 21 points in the fourth, no points in the third. I don't know how that happened. But we are not losing anymore. Daniel Taylor playing like his old self. Quincy Blunt in the defense. We got the Vic Beasley on one side. Uh, Quincy Blunt can go on any side he want and just, just rehab it. You feel me? So it's all good. Team looking real solid. Everything is going how it's supposed to be. You feel me? But this video is coming to an end. So always remember... In the street we trust, I'm out.